All right, beautiful day here today. Um, I am uh, stressed to like the highest level, I guess. Um, Saturday, uh, in three days, I'm gonna be disconnecting uh, two towns and I am not looking forward to it at all. Um, I'll be doing it on a Saturday. I'm gonna be disconnecting Princess Anne and Pocomoke. <sighs> Pocomoke should only be about 30 minutes. Princess Anne might be about an hour and a half, unfortunately. Uh, simultaneously to that going on, um, I'm right here at a very interesting location in Salisbury where um, basically this location, every fiber provider is right in this area. Uh, every uh, fiber provider and even Comcast has a Doxus, I don't know, amplifier or something going on. And uh, we've got everything, uh, every possible fiber provider of which we're gonna be picking up one uh, today. There's a handhole over there, there's a handhole here. This is our handhole uh, vault. And in this vault uh, here, um, we're going to be taking two fibers out of our 96 and I'm going to be dropping them into this vault to pick up a new 10 gig uh, circuit on a DWDM filter. They just put the filter in, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but yeah, not a whole lot to do uh, here. I did this build, I'm in the black tube, and I've already gone ahead and picked two fibers that I'd like to use, which are going to be uh, pink and blue. I do have a 1x2 splitter here, which is very abnormal, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I've got, basically I cut I cut um, the blue, I put the 2A, this is what I did about a year ago, okay? I put the 2A here, because there's a building right there, okay? Bridge, river nothing okay so there was no they're not going to put a house right here they can't build a house here the other uh, situation is that um to to really take note uh, excuse me here that's really interesting okay well all the big boys right all the big boys you got your comcast you got your i don't even want to keep saying names but you got all your big boys up here okay um that are crossing this uh, river So they're coming out of this pole busted ass pole. Look at this. There's slack loops and slack loops and and The, the Virgin Mary's up there right right up in there so What we did which was awesome and and it took a lot of effort uh, We actually crossed that that bridge in a different way and you got to take it to Kirk uh, and at the time, Jim was with us, a fantastic dude, and we got with the city, and we came up with an agreement for attachment on this bridge that they just put in, okay? And let me tell you, they didn't want us to penetrate the bridge, okay? So, we, in rigid conduit, okay, <clears throat> we use U-bolts that go up and over the beam, come down and affix to the uh, bridge. So we're the only carrier that cross this river right here in a physical way. Um, I'm sorry, in a, uh, this would be equivalent to it being underground the entire way. I mean, we can't go under the river because of the EPA and stuff, but we do cross this bridge in a way that if something happened to this right here, this pole or that pole, um, there's gonna be a whole lot of people upset with, with life. Uh, our customers, I think, are gonna be pretty happy that we chose to uh, cross the actual bridge uh, itself. Now, they just put this bridge in, so uh, you can't hate on those people too much because the bridge didn't exist. Uh, you know when it was put in so the uh, crossing of that uh, river that's our fiber right there 
uh, actually takes us down that road about a mile or so, I guess. Um, and yeah, nice, 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 beautiful day out here, uh, splicing. But we are going to be shooting the OTDR today. Uh, this is extremely, extremely important, uh, important, and I want no issues here. So. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to be adding a second tray here. Uh, we're going to be using a transit uh, tube. We're going to bring this up right like so. I uh, hope that's not the cops coming to get me. Oh. Not today. Don't come get me today. It's too nice out here. Ah, it's an ambulance on the roundabout. Mm-hmm. You can come get me when it's 105 degrees. But what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go ahead, we've got our slack out. This took a quite a bit to get out. I did this backwards, and it's, it's my fault. I got nobody to be upset with but myself. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my uh, light blue and my pink and cut them. I'm gonna bring them up this transit tube to this tray, and then on this tray is the only splice is gonna take place is our interconnection. So that way there's no games, no shenanigans when we come back out. So, uh, cool. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. I did get a new phone and this is the new first video with it. So I'm curious to see what that actually turns out looking like. Uh, I don't know, it seems okay. Cool, so we're just about dang uh, set up here got my four fibers that need to get spliced together um, and I had to go to the bathroom and uh, we almost lost our sight here there's a whole like uh, it's uh, a flock of seagulls it's a uh, god damn it a gaggle of geese holy crap yep I think that's what it's called we had a gaggle coming in on us I just, I just like fend them off. They were trying to attack me. But yeah, there's not a whole lot left here. Um, this one just needs to get held. I got my, my tubes I just grabbed. This one just needs to get kind of treated with kid gloves because it's so important. And uh, basically, we're gonna have, we are gonna have our splice on the main tray, but that was based on lengths, and again, that was my fault. But this tray, there's 12 fibers, okay, that go, uh, bam, right there, and they go to that vault right there. And that's going to be our, uh, the ability for us to, we're going to need two, and they put a DW, DW dam filter in, so I don't think they'll ever Thing, uh, be more than that but the point being is if we ever needed to get more fibers through them we, we're all set up to do that very efficiently so uh, yeah so damn gorgeous day out here you know I really can't do too much too much bitching today I don't think got the, got the little water tranquil run in the background you know <laughs> oh god oh hey now that guy looks pissed yep he looks at me he doesn't want to be on camera uh oh well anyway let's get back to it all right come back uh back in this um same room it's loud as shit i get that uh, but what I wanted to talk about was the other end of that handoff, which is really, uh, it's really dang interesting. So three carriers, I'm sorry, four carriers, three different types of handoffs uh, here on the Eastern Shore. So right here, Windstream, okay? And I'll tell you exactly what they wanted me to install. Oh, hang on. Was a 1310 uh, two kilometer. This is a 10 kilometer as my in case of emergency backup. But they wanted that 
um, direct optical handoff, 10 gig circuit, no equipment in my facility. It goes uh, light from there uh, to their edge equipment that's roughly a mile away. Now let's look at how Comcast uh, chose to do it. They brought their own fiber in, right? Spliced it, bam, optical, over to a Sienna. This Sienna is powered by my battery. I assume it's only meant so they can change my speeds and throttle us, but it's a 10 gig connection and that's a 10 gig depth. So basically I'm taking their optical, which is a, um, a programmable DWDM optic. I was here when they did it. And uh, coming out of the DAC, taking that DAC to my router. Now let's look at this new one, which I think is the most intelligent uh, aspect for Crown Castle. They put a big old sticker on it, so I'm gonna not uh, care about filming it. They put a filter. Now all that means is that these two cassettes our DWDM filters. Uh, hang on, I got a new phone. There we go. And basically, they're taking my fiber because they don't have fiber in this building. I built this uh, to them. We did. And this is an eight channel mux to mux. I'm taking um, two things to take away from this, which is really uh, attractive. And one is that's I'm, all we signed up for was a 10 gig circuit and what they did was they put in uh, the capacity on this 10 gig order so that we could um, it's too loud in there I'm sorry uh, they put in the capacity on this 10 gig uh, order that we could upgrade to 100 gig we could upgrade to 40 gig uh, they do support 40 and 10, I'm sorry, 10, 40, and 100 over those uh, eight channels. So if you think about, think about it that way, uh, that was a really impressive build for them so that they're bringing in this filter and what we can, this is the same, this is a glorified version of the filter we use. Ours is a single fiber system, theirs is a two fiber system. There's pluses and minuses, um, but, that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty cool, man. And uh, I hope I hope that goes well. Uh, it can't be it can't be worse than Windstream. I don't think. I mean, maybe it could, but I don't I don't think it could. To be honest with you. But uh, that was a sorry, it was so loud, man. Um, exciting room, exciting day, and I hope everybody uh, enjoyed uh, hanging out.